This question is one of the questions on the exit exam 2015. See the question yourself. I put the link in the description box. In the world of computers and the internet, information needs to travel between devices like how we talk to our friends or send them messages. The way computers communicate with each other can be compared to two different styles, connection-oriented and connectionless protocols. Let's simply explore these. Let's recap the question that I showed at the begging of the video. Which protocol of the TCP IP is connectionless? Internet protocol. B. User datagram protocol. C. Transmission control protocol. D. The OSI reference model. So as you see, the question is about communication protocols in computers. Before answering the question, let's see the communication protocol in detail. What is a connection-oriented protocol? A connection-oriented protocol is like making a phone call to someone. Before you start talking, you make sure the person is there and listening. This is called establishing a connection. Once the connection is made, you can be sure that everything you say reaches the other person. If they don't hear you properly, they will ask you to repeat it. In computer networks, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, is a common connection-oriented protocol. It makes sure that data sent between two devices arrives correctly and in the right order. Just like when you're on a call and the other person asks, what did you say? If they didn't hear you, TCP ensures that lost data is sent again. Key features, establishes a connection first, like saying, are you there? Before starting to talk, ensures data is received. It checks to make sure the other computer gets the information. Resends missing data. If something gets lost, it will send it again. Examples of connection-oriented protocols. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol is used for sending emails, loading websites and transferring files. FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, is used for downloading and uploading large files. And HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the protocol used to load web pages. What is a connectionless protocol? Well, a connectionless protocol works kind of like sending paper airplanes. You throw the airplane to your friend, but you don't wait to see if they catch it. You just keep throwing more. Some might land perfectly, but others could miss or get lost. In computer networks, UDP or User Datagram Protocol is an example of a connectionless protocol. It sends data without checking if the other device is ready to receive it. This makes it faster, but less reliable. If data is lost, it won't try to send it again. Connectionless protocols are used when speed is more important than making sure everything arrives perfectly, like in video streaming or online gaming. Key Features No connection needed You don't need to check if the other device is ready before sending data. Faster, but less reliable. It doesn't wait to make sure the data was received or resend missing data. Independent Packets Each piece of data is sent separately, without any confirmation. Examples of connectionless protocols UDP or User Datagram Protocol is used in online gaming, video streaming and VOIP which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. IP or Internet Protocol handles sending data over the internet but without checking if it arrives. When to use connection-oriented or connectionless protocols? Use connection-oriented protocols like TCP when you need all the information to arrive correctly and in order. For example, sending an important email, downloading a file, or browsing a website. Use connectionless protocols like UDP when speed is more important than accuracy and a little data loss is okay. For instance, watching a live video stream, playing an online game, or making a voice call. After this explanation, I hope you can answer the question easily. Let me give you 5 seconds to answer. Write your answer in the comment box below. The correct answer is B. User Datagram Protocol UDP UDP or User Datagram Protocol is a connectionless protocol within the TCP IP suite. It sends data without establishing a connection, making it faster but less reliable than TCP, which is connection-oriented. In summary, Connection-oriented protocols make sure all data gets where it needs to go, like a phone call. While connectionless protocols prioritize speed over accuracy, 
like throwing paper airplanes. Understanding these two types of communication can help you appreciate how the internet and devices work together to make everything from gaming to web browsing possible.